Well, they've done it. There will be just one home nation in the top tier of the next edition of the Nations League. And it will be Scotland. Yes, last night's draw with Ukraine means Steve Clark's side finished top of their group and will now be in the draw alongside seven of the world's top ten teams. Yeah, massive night for Scotland. Let's get more reaction now and join our reporter, Mark Benstead. Hi, Mark. Good morning. Yeah, fabulous week for Scotland. Capped off with that result and performance in Poland last night. Uh, the man alongside me, no doubt, was an interested observer at home and texting his teammates at full time. It is the Scotland international Stephen O'Donnell. He joins me now. Well, Stephen, first and foremost, I, I want to start with an individual. How impressed were you with Ryan Porteous's debut last night? Yeah, no, look, I think um, there's been a lot of talk about Ryan and, and he's been involved in the squads before, but to come in in that sort of environment, a very important game and to put in what was a, a solid and strong performance alongside Jack who has been outstanding this this three game spell and um, just shows the, the confidence the boy has and, and how well Ryan done, he, he, he was excellent and, and, and part of a very solid and good Scotland performance. You know what it's like to have a lot of focus on you going into big games, people wondering how you'll perform and you've delivered performances, how impressed that he was able to do that because there's a lot of focus, a lot of chatter around him once his name appeared on the team sheet. Yeah, look, I think it's always going to be the case when you're coming in for your debut in such a big game, but he has handled big games before. He, he likes to play with the pressure, and you see that in how he performs every week. And um, Look, he, he handled it, as we said, and, and, and has gave the manager another headache and, 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 and staking a claim for a starting place. Was this a big run of games for the team as a whole because we saw other players called in and be able to deliver? It wasn't the same old faces that were relied upon. Well, I think the, the fact that We've bounced with well seven points from a possible nine. Shows you how strong the squad is. There was a lot of call-offs, and then even mid-camp there was a few call-offs to sickness bug. So look, it shows you how good a position Scott, the Scotland national team's in, um, and, that, and that's due to the manager putting faith in young boys. You see the the three right back options he's got. Um, you've got options all over the place, and it's um, and it, it makes for a tough competition, and hopefully a really positive future for Scotland. Yeah, evolution in the squad, evolution in the style of play as well. Some managers pick a way of playing, and they do not deviate from that, especially international football. But the manager has changed things this group of games. What have you made of that? Well, look, I think uh, the manager's preferred shape was a, a back four, and when he was at Kilmarnock, and he maybe has changed to uh, to adjust to having good players. That's what good managers do; they adjust to to get the best players in a system and it worked because it got us qualified for the, the Euros but look he's, he's adapted it different personnel coming in giving him different problems and, and look he's as I said the, the shape was brilliant very aggressive on the press and, and we got a lot of ball back especially the first game but what was very impressive is how the, 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 the shape stayed the same but the performance changed slightly between game to game with Ireland being a bit more physical and then Ukraine sitting in being solid and, and looking dangerous in the counter You've obviously played for Steve at club and country. How has he taken Scotland from being a pot four team to a pot two team? What's been key to the way he's, he's managed the group? I think calmness, I think trust, and I think he's also tried to get a continuity within the players, which is difficult because there's so many extenuating circumstances, players getting injured, um, oh, different family that, stuff. Yeah. and you, He's tried to pick a core of a squad, which has been in the squads that I've been in. They're still there, and, and it brings a togetherness, and, and that allows the team to develop and and you really get to see the true performances that players can, can put on. Obviously, top in the group brings with it a, a playoff spot if needed to get to the next yours. But the message seems to be, no, we don't want to rely on that. We want to qualify outright. Is that the right approach to have now? Yeah, no, look, you always want to outdo the pre previous campaign and we managed to finish second. If we finish second this time round, we'll be, we'll be going to another tournament and that's what, what the aim has to be. It's good to have the safety net because if, if you were to get a terrible group that was very difficult, it, it does give you that wee cushion. But we, I would imagine that the, the manager's aim will be, look, we're looking to qualify automatically. If we can't finish top, we want to be finishing second. Is there an extra little bit of satisfaction amongst the boys, knowing that they have gone up as other home nations have dropped down, have struggled? No, look, I think that there's always satisfaction when you're performing well and we've got seven out of nine points. It was a great return against two very good sides. Um, Obviously, I think the real satisfaction will come when we are qualifying for tournaments every every two years, and I think this squad really has the potential to do that. Is that the, the mentality now? They're not just satisfied with this. This is a great achievement, but ultimately, being at the major tournaments is where Scotland want to be, so that has to be the end goal. Yeah, 100%. I think it's where this squad's capable of, of finishing. Um, we got it once a couple of years back, and we want to do it again. We don't want to be a one-hit wonder. That was the message at the time, and we want to make sure that 
the next time we're there, which will hopefully be in a couple of years, we'll be competing and picking up more points than we did. It needs to be always looking to improve and qualifying for the tournaments regularly is, is our aim. You're obviously part of that squad for the Euros. How much has that been a mantra since then? Look, you know, we want to be back, we want to be back. How much is it, it chatted about amongst the, the group of boys in the WhatsApp? 100%, you get a taste for it, even although it COVID at the time and it wasn't quite full stadiums. The atmosphere was still electric. The atmosphere around Scotland coming to the home games was, was amazing. And it's something that every player wants. To, you want to be playing in the big occasions, no matter who you are. And um, I know a lot of the boys get to do that regularly for their clubs. But it's a real taste and a real hunger and desire to be there again. Stephen, really appreciate your time here this morning. The thoughts of the Scotland International. Stephen O'Donnell on a fabulous week for Scotland, topping the group and getting promotion in the Nations League.